All right. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. Second, double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry pushing the word of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midness Camp. Coming at you with another quick lesson. And as always, before I get into my lesson, this message goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. And also to the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the heathen nations and it may look like a typical heathen of another nation. But if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino, Hispanic, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you consider it Israelite as well, according to the bloodline and of the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So shalom to you brothers and sisters that scattered worldwide, and that's in the faith and exalt the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick uh, lesson going into, you know, the time of division, okay? Because that's what you're seeing here, here on the earth today, all throughout the world, and all behind the time of what, pushing of these mandates of the JAB due to this whole pandemic, okay? Now, in the recent news, you have that <laughs> um, the president of America, Joe Biden, coming out talking about how he's ready to force these, you know, these jabs over to a you know a hundred million Americans who who haven't been activated, and that's causing division, man. As these devils more and more push forth their draconian laws, you know, and, and, and basically taking the people so-called rights away <coughs> over over and over the you know the talks of freedom. As they pushing these JBs, man. Okay, are they pe these people saying that America is leaning towards a dictatorship, which it been that. Okay, but now Esau just fed up. You know, he can't, you know, he's usually doing it by his, you know, speaking peace. Okay, and coming in the spirit of peace and thinking everything's all right. But now he's seeing a lot of people resistant. So there's only one way this devil can go. And it's by what he known best is that sword, man. Because soon it's going to be from the time of, you know, man, it you know, was it was it was a voluntary. Now it's mandatory, and it's still going to be resistance to the point that they're going to force you know heavy fines, okay, and you know leading to people being examples. The those that are not taking it, they're going to lose their jobs, lose certain benefits of the government. Eventually, man, they coming with that sword in the form of martial law, okay, when these troops. Are implemented to take over the stakes, man. Okay, and they get, they already preparing for that, man. That's why they got concentration camps, FEMA camps, detention centers, checkpoints. Okay, so we coming to the time of all hell breaking loose. Are you seeing these people here in America and all throughout the world that these people are taking a stand against their government behind the the agenda that they pushing? And it, it mostly is uh, Edomites, okay, especially here in America, okay, and over there in Europe, Australia, it's Edomites, man, that's fighting tooth and nail for their so-called rights, because they see their kingdom is going down, okay, and they see the ones who in power that's, that's supposed to be for them is the one that's forcing it, forcing this whole mandate and the force on them are their own people. But you simple Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, that's comfortable, willing to take the jab, because you trust in this place, man. You trust in oppression. But more and more, you're seeing division when it comes to the citizens and their government. Now, recently you had now that they want to force the, the people that take it, and how you have an article coming out how 70% of, of Americans willing to resign or quit their jobs before they receive that activator, man. Okay, so it's a domino effect that's going to lead to more job losses. You got individuals that's part of the military refusing to take it, 
resigning, police is resigning, leaving from their posts, leaving from their positions that they have here in, here in America due to, you know, under government rule or government workers. Okay, so that's the time we're coming into. And all that is biblical prophecy. And here at Great Millstone, start with our apostles and elders and the, you know, bishop elders and the brothers on down. Hey, we've been giving you that warning, man, for years. Okay, our apostles, elders been giving you that warning that we're approaching the time now of Esau pushing his agenda, which is known as the NWO. And lately, you know, over there in Australia, they openly saying it, that we're in the time of the new world order being presented. And you seeing they moving towards that, man. But all you simple Negro, all that Tito Native Americans, and you simple Americans here that uplift and exalt this place, now you about to be getting a rule awakening. How Esau is really showing his true horns, man, his true intentions, how he feel for you simple people, man. But we know that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is going to be the hope for his people, starting with the elect, the 144,000 and the one third. Because that's what we're going to trust in, okay? Those that's of the hopeful elect, we're trusting in Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Because the Lord already gave us the blueprint and the heads up through the spirit, the understanding of scriptures, through prophecy, what times that we're in, that we're approaching the times of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? But two thirds of our people, according to the scriptures, and they're not going to take heed. They're going to furthermore lean on the ways of Esau, Edom, and to be broken, to be taken. Okay? They're going to keep on uh, trusting in this place to the point they keep taking people rights away and to the point that these people backs are against the wall and they back into a corner that they're going to be willing to submit to that JAB and soon to be the RFID micro, okay? The MOTB, which is in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, because that's what they're doing, okay? That's what they're pushing these whole trial runs of the JAB. The issue in, the implement that new digital dollar, okay? Because without that micro, you won't be able to buy or sell, as it says in the scriptures. So they 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 setting the perfect plan up according to them, which is the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. They get you simple Israelites, man. Okay, gradualism, conditioning. That's what it is, man. Okay, and a lot of our people are gonna fall to that when they ain't able to, you know, the so-called survive, and then they have to depend on the system. Because they so pacified when it comes to the jobs, the aid and certain benefits they done received all these years to seek to be comfortable here. Okay, so they're going to be willing to take it, man. But they can't say they wasn't warned. Because Yahweh Bashim al had gave you the warning by the mouth of his prophets through this ministry. But you're seeing the division, man. Okay, you're starting to see the division. And once again, that's all biblical prophecy. And that's leading to the downfall of this place, America. And Esau, eventually, his new world order is going to crash on him. Because Yahweh Shai is going to come back and take him out of power, okay? Starting with destroying this place, America, by the way of thermonuclear missiles. And these elites being reserved for slavery, for captivity. Under us, the Israelites. That's the near future, okay? The near future is the destruction of this place. Yahweh Shai returning and sending the kingdom here on earth in the land of Israel, okay? The rightful, the rightful owners, us, not those phonies that's going to be blown away as well by thermonuclear missiles. Just for us to reserve, our, get our land back, man, okay? But like I say, I meant to say these elites, they're going to be reserved for slavery, man, right along with the rest of these heathens. But let me go ahead and get into the scriptures because I ain't going to make this lesson, this lesson uh, known. But this is, I'm going to start off with the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 9, <clears throat> verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time digitally in itself. And when thou seest part of the sign pass, which I had told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So you're seeing that. Yahweh Bashim al Shah visiting this place, visiting the earth which he made with the different plagues. Okay? And it says, continue on. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the, in the world, aren't we seeing that? Earthquakes. You had an earthquake that's recently, a couple of days ago, hit Mexico, okay, leading to a lot of uh, floods. I believe it was a, a 7.1 
earthquake. Okay, about a month ago, um, an earthquake hit Haiti. Earthquakes hitting diverse places, okay, all throughout the earth, man. So that's how about Shem Al Shah visiting this place. Those are the signs of many. Okay? And it says what? The uproars of the people. You seeing the uproars behind this whole jab uh, situation. You see the resistance. You see it coming to the point that Esau are ready to come down with martial law due to the uproars of the people. Okay? Like I say, mentioning here starting in America. Over there in Europe, parts of Europe, Australia. So those are the signs that we're measuring to know that this place is going down, man. And that we're in the time of Yahweh Bashim um, 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 establishing the kingdom. Verse 4. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High has spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So you see it. Okay, the, the words he had about Shemal Shah, the prophecies are being manifest by his works, the plagues that he's bringing, which is judgment. Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginning and wonders and powerful works and endings, endings and effects and signs. Okay, so aren't that happening? Hey, so you how about Shemal Shah gave the, the spirit to the prophets when it comes to these scriptures to speak these things. To warn you people, to warn you Israelites, and to give you heed is your judgment that's going to come. That this is the Lord's perfect purpose. This is the Lord's wrath. And only the elect is going to be delivered. And those of our people that take this word lightly, okay, that don't repent, that they're going to be part of the two the two third club. So this is where we're at, man. Now I'm going to go to the book of um, Matthew. Chapter 24. And this is what Yahweh Shah spoke to his disciples back then. Okay. Which is relevant today for us. That's in the faith. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Aren't we seeing that? Okay. Are we seeing the stage of war being set? World War Three, Approaching the World War Three, The final war. Okay. Which is going to be the destiny of America in by those thermonuclear missiles. Okay, you're seeing the talks of war and rumors of wars between Russia and America, America and China, Iran and Israel, America Afghan and Afghanistan. Okay, wars and rumors of war, North Korea and uh, in America. So that's the time that we're coming into. Is this what Yahweh, this is what Yahweh Shah told us to expect and to look for? And it says, and it says, um, for all these things, and it says, see that you not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. God, because we're approaching the time now, man. Okay? And back then, when Yahweh Shah was speaking these, okay, these, you know, these um, prophecies, okay, it wasn't a time back then, you know, for these actually to come to pass. Some that was talking about back in the time of when we was in the land of Israel. But more is going into the times that we are at now. In the sense, verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdoms against kingdoms. So you're seeing that. You're seeing that division. Okay, we come into the time of, of race wars, nations against nations, clash wars, civil wars, kingdoms against kingdom. Okay, kingdoms being divided. Okay, you soon you're about to see these people going at each other's throat, man. Okay, for the citizens going after their their government, the top chief governments. Okay, the time of martial law. Going against their citizens, race wars. Okay, people uprising due to the the lack of food. Okay, when it comes to famine, these jobs are are, are being taken away. Uh, financial crashes. Okay. Hey, There's the no financial you know, collapse, man. That's going to lead to a lot of uproars. That's what's going to lead to a lot of people, uh, nations against nations, kingdoms against kingdom. That's the vision. Continue on. <clears throat> and it says, And there shall be famines and pestilence 
and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So you're seeing that, man. We're approaching the time of the beginning of sorrows, of famine, of pestilence. And the scriptures don't lie, man. Let me get on. So we're seeing that now, man. And if you have been warned through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, hey, by the way of the prophets. Now this is um Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. And Shai knew their thoughts, and he said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall be, shall not stand. So you're seeing that the division amongst America. You got Biden constantly pushing these mandates, coming out with executive orders. And even amongst the governments or the government here in America, hey, you got certain gov governors that's not with the, the whole jab situation or not with the mandatory mass okay in certain you know counties that's not up for it man okay because they seeing the rise of the cases amongst those that have already been activated okay and those that's not playing along with these elites and their agenda and they're going to take them and move them out the way and you know how they get down by bloodshed by hits okay they're going to get their point across one way or another, man. And that's what Biden, Biden ain't nothing but a puppet. Just ride along with the rest of the lesser luminary ones. But you got a lot of them amongst each other, okay, divided. Okay, like I said, you got people that are working for the federal government, such as, you know, when it comes to policemen, firemen, nurses, military uh, server, servants, servers, those that's in the military. That's divided and not trusting in this system when it comes to the J and B. So that's the vision down to the average American citizen or citizens that are uh, scattered wherever they at throughout these different countries that they that they government forcing these mandates of the Vanessa or these uh, 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 ejections. So that's biblical prophecy, and that's proving that this place is heading and that. This, this place is headed for destruction. And Esau is at the time of his end, at his downfall. Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. And, and read, And every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And you saying that, man? But who's the spiritual counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan? Or who's the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan? Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. These elites, on down to the lesser luminary ones, and down to the average so-called white person, average Edomite. And even amongst these elites, they got difference. Okay? So you're seeing that, Satan casting out Satan. The Edomites is going at each other, man, on all levels, man division so that's proof that their kingdom is falling and they're not going to be able to stand in the times that we're coming into because the lord is is bringing division once again so that's it on that now i'm gonna go to the book of um isaiah chapter 19 verse 2 and they read, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. The kind, and the, the Egyptians are going into America, okay? Because America is a, another way of saying uh, Egypt, okay? In the Bible, okay? This is spiritual Egypt here, here in America. Because this is our captivity of the nation of Israel. And the modern-day Pharaoh is um, Esau, Edom, okay? Just as it was in ancient Egypt, being captive under the pharaohs, which were Hamites at that time, okay, and in the first, our first captivity 
was under the Egyptians, okay, the Hamites. But this is our captivity today, which is spiritual Egypt. Okay, so that's what it's going into when you say he shall set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Okay, these Edomites divided amongst each other. The American citizens divided amongst each other and, and, and rising up and resisting against this government. So everything is here in the scriptures that we need to, that we need to know for the times that we're into. And it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. See, it says the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. Going into America is spiritual Egypt today. And the spirit of Egypt shall, fall, shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to charmers and to them that have familiar spirits to the and to the wizards. Okay, so you're seeing that, man. Okay, you seeing Esau losing his power, his enchantment is being, you know, is tacky. Okay, it's being exposed to the point that majority of the people resisting and not falling for it. Okay, and you know, and that's causing a lot of backslash. To the point that you saw want to come with the sword. You want to bring censorship. You want to label everything hate speech. Hey, now he's saying that, you know, the um, the ones who are resisting the um, the activator, they're gonna be counted as uh, a screen terrorism. So anything that uh that's uh, uh, opposed or uh, uh, oppo uh, opposition against Esau Edom agenda. Whoever it is, man, they label you as a radical, a domestic, uh, extreme terrorism or terrorist. Okay? So that's what it's coming to, man. The separation, the division, man. And the Lord says, he's in, the, in, the, in the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst of the And you're seeing that. They, they ain't losing any power. And that's all the will of Yahweh by Shema was shot. And it says, and I will destroy the council thereof. The council. Hey, the, the, everybody look at this American system as a joke. The people who are still falling for this place, man, they, they really gone, man. They through. Especially they falling for these jabs. After this, the proven facts. Okay. How 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 these jabs are, are affecting people. And people still want to go out there and take them. Due to the fear of losing their freedom. Or their jobs or their benefits. Mainly you so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, man. You simple as all hell. That's why a lot of you Israelites are gonna be put to death when you how about Shemal Shah more and more start to roll on this place, man. And he allowed Esau to do it. Cause he's gonna use Esau as well. Cause the ones that you had on take that that J B, it's like a you basically like a ticking time bomb that ready to, you know, clock out. Okay? And so, but once again, maybe coming to the time of division. Let me see. Um, this is Isaiah, uh, Isaiah chapter 31, verse 3. And it says, now the Egyptians are men and not God. And their horses flesh and not spirit. When the when the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both that he both he that helpeth shall fail, and he that hoping shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. So that's the Lord talking to our people, man. Since you want to trust in Egypt, trust in America, trust in your oppressor, you saw Edom. And when Yahweh Shem Yashah bring this place down, and they're gonna fall, two thirds of our people are gonna fall right along with you saw Edom in this system. Especially ultimately when Yahweh shall return and bring fire upon this place by the way of the chariots with the world call UFOs and those thermonuclear missiles that are going to leave this place desolate, man. And two-thirds of our people are going to fall with it, man. Okay? Especially those that take the MOTB. Because that's the warning that the Lord gave to his prophets to give to you Israelites, man. Those that take the RFID or micro, and they're going to be destroyed by those missiles and the chariots that Yahweh shall going to return with. And there is no repenting, okay, once you t take that MOTB. 
And that's why you're seeing this jab being pushed. Because once again, it's a trial, a trial run for what they really want to implement. And all of it is biblical prophecy, man. And you can't stop it. So we at the end, man. Okay, we definitely at the end of this place, man. And Esau is showing his horns. Hey, the scripture says that he have but a short time left. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. He's coming with that great wrath. So we almost out of here, man. We almost, de we definitely almost out of here. And I'll get this last scripture and get ready to close out. And you know, lately, you know, I'm bringing this scripture out, relevant, you know, because it was relevant, man. Okay, you know, bringing the script scripture out re repeatedly. And okay, just as, as other brothers, because this scripture right here, here in Second Edges chapter 16, verse 17, is, is literally walking off. The, the 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 book out of the scriptures, man. That we're seeing things happening now. It actually coming into being fulfilled in front of our face. Second Andrew chapter sixteen. I started at verse eighteen, and it says, "The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear." So you seeing that, man? You seeing the beginning stage of of, of mourning, sorrows. Great death that's about to come. Wars. Famine. And you've seen the, the powers that's in, in, in rulership in fear, man. You've seen how these countries are, 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 are going to, to more a calamity state, turmoil, due to uprise of the people, or the uproars of the people, sedition amongst men, the civil unrest. And it says, and, and it says, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. So you're seeing the Lord bring these plagues now. Things are happening now on a small level compared to what Yahweh Shemal Shah is about to really unleash. Okay? We come to the time things is going to intensify more. Once again, the beginning stage, the beginning of sorrows. And it says, Behold, virtues shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. Okay, kind of, so they think, majority of our people, they think they self in a, be in a good case. They got their jab. They still able to work. They still able to get certain benefits. They still be able to go to certain marketplaces to eat, go out, you know, partying, going out to enjoy their life. Okay. But well, guess what? This is what it's saying. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. And you're seeing that, man. While these people constantly thinking everything's good, you're seeing turmoil happen all throughout the earth, man. When it comes to earthquakes, floods, uproars of the people, wildfires, famine. And it says, and, they, and, and then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great trip, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger and the sword, uh, and the sword, I mean, so like it, and it says that many of them that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So you're seeing that, man. You're approaching those times. Okay? The famine, all these plagues that the Lord is bringing. And after all that is said and done for America, Okay, the Lord going to cap it off with those missiles destroying this place, man. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. You know, we're coming into the time of, of, of division, and we're seeing that happening. It is, and it's more to come. More to come. But for the hopeful let, man, hey, this is the time that we got to build more up into the faith. Okay, more into, you know, uh, building up the brotherhood, building up each other, building up the ministry. Building up our, 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 our treasure in heaven. Okay, constantly meditating and being occupied in prophecy, as the scripture says. Because we that close, man. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to be the defense for his elect, for those that tru truly believe. Okay, judgment is coming for the two thirds in these heathens. Okay, but for the elect, the scripture says, be faithful even unto death. Okay, even you have to perish. But, you know, if we have to die, hey, we have to die fighting in the faith, believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those that die in the faith are going to be risen up as well.
to receive the kingdom. Right along with the elect that's going to be reserved to be delivered. And you have a shot come back with those chairs. So for us, man, as long as we stay in the faith and endure to the end, it's a win-win situation, man. Okay? The Lord said he haven't pointed us to wrath, but unto salvation for the elect. And it's a blessing to be in this faith at this time, man. Knowing the purpose and understanding the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and to be part of that hopeful elect. Okay, so you know, once again, times of trouble is approaching. Jacob's trouble, great trials and tribulation. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is the supreme power that controls all things. And we're moving up, and Esau Edom is going down, man. Right along with the rest of our uh, rest of these heathens and, and our people as well, the two thirds. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here, praying that the lesson may edify. Uh, keep fighting and keep pushing Aki and Atwa. Okay, till next time, I'll give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakal Kudash, double honors to our apostles and elders of great meals, a great millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers and the believers that scattered worldwide and that's in the faith and exalt the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity. Day in and day out. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom.